channel it's your girl i'm back in front of the camera because we need to talk so i wanted to make this video i'm calling this my accountability video because i know i've mentioned this before but if you're new hey hey make sure you like and subscribe okay and if you are back again if you already subscribed then you already know that i've kind of touched on my pcos that i've been battling i got officially diagnosed with pcos back in 2014 either 2013 or 2014 and uh, basically what it is is uh, pcos is polycystic ovarian syndrome and basically what it causes are one of the main things that it causes is um, cyst on your ovaries. It causes cyst on your ovaries, which leads to infertility or could lead to infertility. It makes it hard for you to have children. Um, not impossible, but very hard. Me, myself, if I'm being real, I've suffered through three miscarriages. Um, two miscarriages, one atopic pregnancy, so the struggle is real, real out here, especially if you're a woman of a certain age. I ain't gonna, you know, tell you how old I am or whatever, but it is definitely a stressful condition. Along with infertility, it also causes, it's a hormonal um, disease. I don't know if it's disease, but it, it's a hormonal condition. It causes you to have cystic acne, um, you grow hair in places that a woman shouldn't grow hair, like full beard, mustache, like it's, it's just not very nice on women. And it makes you just feel very nasty, especially when it's, it's really bad and you haven't treated it or taken any medications. You feel bloated all the time, fatigued, moody. It just, it's just not not good <laughs> okay and one of the main thing the main thing is the fertility issues but aside from fertility one of the main things that PCOS affects is weight gain now me you know growing up I was always like really small skinny throughout high school I was just really skinny because I was very active just skinny and it seems like after I got out of high school and well let me backtrack I around maybe 13 14 is when I got my period and from the beginning from the onset when I got my period my period was never regular and I thought that was just me you know you know when I went to the doctor I said oh that's normal some people are irregular so I would go once every other month once every two months and I didn't think anything about it but in high school I was very active I was big on dance like I danced a lot and uh, I was just very active and after I got out of high school I noticed that my periods were further and further and further apart and I started I was like you know what I looked up and it's six months and I haven't had my period what's going on and I noticed that I started to you know gain weight and I knew that you know I wasn't pregnant because at that time I was a virgin so I was like unless this is some type of a uh, virgin Mary uh, action going on then you know what's going on so I you know I just didn't think about it I was like well I'm gaining weight you know I'm just getting older my body's changing and so I went on with my life battled with my weight for a little bit didn't really get too bad but bigger than what I was used to so I did programs like Jenny Craig and I like lost a lot of weight and I was like oh okay you know maybe it's just me you know not being as active as I was and so fast forward to 2013 2014 I was like I've gained a lot of weight but I'm not out here overeating or you know like abusing food or anything like that like if anything I was under eating and I know that can cause weight gain but it just seemed like too much for what the, the weight that I gained so I was like I was married I was with my uh, husband now so he was my boyfriend uh, soon to be fiance and I was like you know like something's not right like I'm gaining all of this weight and 
I'm not overeating. Yeah, I could probably work out more, but I'm not overeating. You know, what's going on? So I go to the doctor and he runs tests and he's like, yeah, you have PCOS. And he goes to break down polycystic ovarian syndrome and, you know, what it is. And I was like, well, okay, well, that makes sense. He was like, yeah, it can cause fertility issues. It can cause weight gain. It can cause all these things. And I was like, okay, well, how do we fix it? He was like, well, it's not something that's curable. And I was like, oh, man, that's messed up. Like, well, what, what do we do? He was like, well, you need to lose weight. And in my head, I'm like, you just said that this this uh, condition caused weight gain, but the way to get it under control is to lose weight. I'm like, how? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, how sway? Like, how am I supposed to lose weight when my condition causes weight gain? And he kind of just left it at that. Like, you just need to lose weight. And so I'm like. Hmm, okay, so I started, you know, I decided I was going to go back on to Jenny Craig, and and it really didn't do much. I lost like 10 pounds here or there. He put me on metformin, which is a common medication that they put you on when you have PCOS, and like, it made me really sick, and I was throwing up, and I lost weight, and I want to say I lost weight because I was throwing up all the dang time, but I lost weight, but it was nothing significant. It was you know, 10 pounds here, whatever, 5, 10 pounds, but nothing significant. Mm, sorry, y'all. And so I was like discouraged. Why am I going in and out? I was discouraged. So I started doing my research and just fast forwarding into the future a little bit because I kind of just lived with it, you know, like weight going up and down up and down and I just kind of lived with it I took the metformin got off of the metformin my hair started thinning on the metformin so I was like I gotta do something and then me and my husband we were trying for um for kids and I would get pregnant but then I would lose the baby and I'm just like you know maybe this is not meant to be but in my head I kept always thinking like well the doctor said you need to lose weight but of course like I said if this causes weight gain how am I supposed to lose weight and so my sister who is been one of my best friends since the age of five found out that she has the same thing as me and she's she went hard like she started doing research she found all these groups and she was like sending me all this stuff you need to do this you need to do that and so i figured out what it is that i needed to do and I need to go on a certain type of diet because I was going on different diets, but those diets weren't doing anything because uh, like a diet that a regular person can do because at that time it was big to do like the Atkins diet and that diet, it wasn't doing anything. I'm like, I'm not losing any weight. Like, or if I did lose weight, I lose like five pounds and then plateau and I'm like, okay, everybody else is flourishing off these different types of diets, but it's not doing anything for me. But after my sis did all that research and I joined all of these groups with her, I realized that no, you can't just do any diet on PC- when you have PCOS. There are specific things that you can and cannot eat. One being no sugar, cut sugar out all the way. That includes like natural sugars like fruit. Like you can't do no sugar, your body just does not like it. Dairy, no milk. No cheese. I'm not a big cheese person anyway. I don't really like cheese like that. But like no milk, nothing that has dairy in it, and then no gluten. Gluten free everything. So I said, okay, well, I'm gonna start doing that. So I started it, and but at the time I started it was a time in our lives. When I say our, I mean my husband and I, where my husband was going through. Um, he had stage uh, four Hoshkin, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it just really wasn't a good time because for me, for me to do something and stick to it, I have to be mentally ready. Like if my mental is not there, I'm not gonna do it. I can have all the tools in front of me, but if mentally I'm not ready to do it, then it's just not gonna get done. I may start, I might go a week, but then I'll just go get off track and it's just not good business so my husband was going through that but I had everything I had the list I was in the group my sister was doing good things 
but I was away from home. I, we weren't even at home because we were up at the hospital dealing with, you know, my husband's situation. So I wasn't really 100% my, you know, I wasn't in it. You know, my head wasn't right. So I'm making this video now that we get to the point as my accountability video because still I'm not 100% mentally all the way ready to jump on this and do this thing but I'm almost there and I just needed to make this video and put it out for the world to see so that I can hold myself accountable and that you guys can hold me accountable because I know that if I just say I'm going to do it that it won't necessarily get done so this is me putting it out there to the world saying that I need to do what I need to do so what I'm going to do is a more personalized form of keto now I've been doing my research on keto again I'm not mentally 100% there so it's been lazy research but I am going to start basically I know that keto is you know semi dairy free you can have cheese but you can't have milk which was weird to me. Um, no carbs, which is hard for me because I am a carb person. No starches, um, but everything else, you know, I can I can get with. You know, you have your fats, your meats. I love avocado, everything like that. So keto, when I looked into it, is something that I can do. But I also know noticed that with PCOS, I get different, you know, different reviews on keto. Some say keto is great for PCOS, some say not so much, but I also think that's because those people like dairy products a lot, and I'm not, I've never really been a big person on dairy, so I don't think it'll be that big of a, um, that big of a change for me, but... I'm willing to give this thing a shot because I got to do something like that's one thing that I suffer with right now main thing fertility but I can't battle that without battling the weight loss first so I'm gonna make myself make this accountability of a video so that I can get on track and start to do the things that I need to do to make myself healthier for me and also for my future pregnancy because I am manifesting this. You guys, like, your girl is getting pregnant, having a baby this year. I don't know if it's going to be the end of the year, but your girl's going to get pregnant because it's time. I am a woman of a certain age. I'm not going to put my age out there whatever I mean y'all can guess but it's time like now is the time I can't keep putting it off I can't the woe is me why did this happen to me I'm not one of those people that abuse food why am I overweight like none of that matters because I it, it is what it is I'm here and I need to get on it get on it or get ghost that's the way I see it so this you guys like i said it's just a short video it's my account video accountability video i'm more so talking to myself than i am talking for you but hopefully this can help someone else who are in my same shoes who is battling with you know uh weight loss hopefully this can help you become more accountable with your weight loss but that's it i'm about to go ahead and log off i just wanted to get that out there and make sure you guys like and subscribe because your girl is doing some things coming up in the future and going in different directions it's time it is time i feel it in my soul it's been manifested to me it is time your girl's about to take off okay so i want to be ready mind body and soul okay so i'm getting my skincare back on track my weight loss back on track my mental back on track and we're about to do this thing in 2021. But that's it. I love you guys. Peace out. Bye.